in semen analysis firstly we mentioned the patients about abstinence it is a very important factor to maintain at least 2 to 7 days of abstinence before a semen analysis secondly we come across different parameters like volume of the semen ph and uh, count sperm count total sperm count and we also check the number of uh, round cells and pus cells agglutination if there is any morphology in morphology we check the number of normal sperms and the number of abnormalities in the abnormal sperms in vitality we check the number of live and number of dead sperms in a ejaculate in a slide this is a wide mouth semen collection container this is a macular counting chamber in which sperm count is generally done in analysis we first check the liquefaction when the semen is completely liquefied count is taken in mortality we particularly note the movement of the sperm how fast the sperm move and how slow and how many dead sperms are present we generally count the motile sperms the sperms which are moving and also the non motile ones which are generally not moving as soon as the semen is liquefied the volume is noted after taking the complete semen sample in a tube the sample volume is noted from the graduations in the tube this volume is acceptable normal value is 1.5 ml in morphology we note the structure of the sperm precisely how the head looks how the neck portion is and how the tail looks like this is a normal sperm with a good head neck and a tail perfectly all right this is the sperm we take the morphology of this sperm the head is pear shaped and the neck also has a defect this sperm has a tail defect it has a short coiled tail in vitality we come across the number of live and dead sperms in a semen analysis in a semen ejaculate this is a vitality slide 